Hi, it's Razor Red, or just call me Red for short. Uh, uh, and I am going to play some casual flash games while addressing some criticisms and just talking about things. Uh, the first thing is. Okay, so a big criticism I got for Conservapedia, the Conservapedia video, is that Conservapedia is satire. I understand most of what I'm reading are just the shitpost answers, but those are the funny ones, and I kind of just... GameChairGames.com Thank you. I, I, my channel is primarily entertainment, so... Uh... I was considering, in, in fact, I am sort of working on some more serious-ish analysis and opinions with research, but a lot of my videos are, especially that conservapedia, uh, you know, the conservapedia stuff, that's just because I think it's funny, it's fun to read, and yeah. From my understanding of Conservapedia, it started serious, but either they couldn't or they simply did not care to really get rid of all of the, tro ob the trolls, which is how you get, uh, because there's definitely some serious ones in there that aren't really jokes. So if it did start as a joke, enough, uh, it doesn't really matter because enough people are taking it seriously that it's not entirely a joke anymore, but, uh, but, yeah, from, it seems like it started seriously, and then just a lot of people got into, you know, making it jokes out of it and there's just not an, either not enough of a moderation staff or they just don't care enough uh, because maybe it's they just want that extra traffic I'm not entirely sure uh, but either way it's just funny to me so and I like to read them and I think I can make entertaining content out of it Make that a cool bandana. Pretty sure it's supposed to be a cutie mark, but... I haven't really watched much. I I loved it as a kid. I don't haven't seen much that much of Friendship of Magic, specifically. Uh, but... Yeah, so, major controversy... Well, not really major controversy. My channel's not big enough, fortunately, to have major controversies. Uh, I guess that might be it. Yeah, because this is like a necklace thing. Uh. Okay. Uh. So, thing number two. Uh. I had, I have multiple, a couple of comments saying that, uh. I'm a bit condescending in some video. The one in particular, I got a lot of flax, mostly from one person. Just, but I understand, and I'm just gonna try and be understanding. Uh, I was being sarcastic, and I tried to link a more serious analysis video about voting and if you should do it in uh, elections. Uh, ooh. but it was a, supposed to be a humorous video made with Microsoft Paint, MS Paint philosophizing, uh, which was going to be a series, and <sighs> but, um, so I was very sarcastic in the video, and I understand that can come across as condescending. I thought I was doing it for humor, which 
and the ver- the video is very specifically about you know people who just kind of who think that by not voting they can just sort of sit home and wait for whatever revolution. Yeah, I did reference, you know, the revol. Oh, sorry, revolution is coming or whatever, and I'm not saying I never made the claim. It, although some people, uh, although I have been accused by a couple of people that you should just sit home and do nothing otherwise, but I'm not against protests or political activism. I just think that it's good to also vote. Uh, yeah. Also, comments about my voice, I cannot control that very much. I have a limited amount of control, so sorry about that. Uh, I'll go to the bandana. Nah, I want it. I want the bandana back. Not... do this instead. Why am I working on this pony? I'm supposed to be talking about serious things, not working on a pony. But yeah. So that is my take on voting. But uh or at least a very shortened version. I'm gonna make this a fire pony. Super fire. Let's, let's see what I can do with colors for that. Cause oh, limited color palette there. But yeah. And as always, you can still feel free to yell at me in the comments. I mean, for me, it's just me- it's still metrics for me, I guess. So, just if I end up letting it comments stay for way too long, even though they start getting really annoying. Because, you know, the metrics, you gotta, gotta mind the metrics. That's a cool looking horse. Yeah, I didn't even mean to talk about metrics. I had a list of things to cover while I talked about this. But metrics, yeah, that's another thing. YouTube basically, you know, you're not supposed to engage with trolls. And actually, I won't say a lot what a lot of people have been or have are necessarily trolls. A lot of them are genuine and they say what they believe. They're just really annoying about it or their beliefs are really annoying. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, but YouTube basically encourages engaging with them, but with their, uh, comment, with their algorithm, because com- more comments means more boost in lay algorithm, I don't know why I said lay, that's a, it's a dead meme, dead meme may. But yeah. YouTube has many issues with algorithm. I'm gonna make me as a pony. 
Who would I be as a pony? Gonna be a blonde pony. Blonde-ish, more of a gold, uh, I'll just be blonde. Golden hair, golden brownish, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. What? There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna make me the perfect pony. GameKidGames.com Thank you, Game Kid Games. So now I'm willing to just be doing unscripted, not even notes, rambling while I design a pony. Yeah, the algorithm sucks. Everybody knows that. Especially the you can't... I mean, everyone's complained about the you can't swear in X no... Like, seven seconds or something. Without... Ruining your... Video's metrics. We're getting... Or, er, getting age-restricted, I think. It's a big thing. Because it limits ad revenue, even though advertisers have no problem with television shows with swearing. And that doesn't affect brand safety. Brand safety is a stupid thing. It means nothing. Just And we should kill it as a concept. Anyway... Now, I should talk about this pony. Now, this pony's got long legs. No, no, not the hair. Not the hair, don't. No, the horn. Are these like the same color? No, they're not. Horn. Red and black, because that looks cool. Ooh, I should change the eyes. Can I change the eyes? No, I cannot. Which red was I using? Ooh, what color is this? Ooh, would this look better? Actually, I like this red. Yeah. Maybe this red. Oh, that's the wrong red. Okay. No, it's not. I like that. Okay, that looks cool. Why am I making myself as a horse? Oh, look, a library-related game. I will now use this to shill the little free library. I'll leave a link in the description. Assuming I don't forget. I'm gonna mute this because these are loud as shit. Uh, but yeah. Uh, little free library. If there's one nearby, definitely contribute. Especially uh, kids' books, I think, is a really good. It's a really good way to help start kids on a good path to learning, learning how to read and speak good English goodly. Get it? The joke is I spoke English poorly. Uh, but also make sure you read, leave some, you know, books that aren't just for young children. I always try to personally uh, leave more than I take, just in case someone, you know, f 
forget to do the, you know, it's take a book, leave a book. Sometimes somebody might forget to do the leave a book part, so I try to chip in, make sure nobody forgets. Soulless black eyes. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So it's always good to do that. Well, I'm going to do different makeup for this. I don't know why I'm bothering so much. No, I'm going to do an Alice in Wonderland thing. I don't remember what she looks like. It's like blonde. I guess it would be more of a nude look. Because, I don't know, this just gives me... I recorded this earlier, but my voice was terrible. I might re-record this, but I, I feel like I could do a nice Alice in Wonderland-ish. This just gives me Alice vibes. 60. I don't know what the 60 means. But yeah. Uh, little free library. There's instructions how to start, how to start one. You can shop for one. So you can just buy a pre-made, uh, or you can uh, build one. Let's see, right here. But yeah, uh, little free library. I will. It's really a it's a form of mutual aid. I I consider it mutual aid, really. And I consider the spreading of knowledge a very uh, important thing. You know. It's a small act, you know. Even just rending, lending a book to a friend, I think, it, it means a lot. And there is my, the end of my uh, little, little tangent speech called action thing about uh, the little free library.